Hey guys, Captain Fructose here. I decided to do a little bit different video today. Um, it's been a while since I have done a story time video and I had an interesting experience the other day that I wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy my story. So I'm currently in university or in college, depending on where you're from. I don't know how many of you have been inside of those fancy bathrooms that they have at the university that have these fancy automatic lights in the bathroom that help conserve energy. Well, my university does have such a bathroom with these fancy lights, but unfortunately there is a slight problem with these fancy lights. If you're in there too long and nobody else comes in, they will shut off if you are not moving where they can see you. Well, I happened to have this problem the other day. I was done with one of my classes, and of course when nature calls, you have to answer. A lot of times when nature calls multiple times and is calling very insistently, you really can't ignore it. So since I could not ignore it, I decided I needed to go between classes before my next class. So I went into the bathroom and of course I'm sitting there and I'm playing on my phone because I get bored really easily and so I'm like, I pull my phone out and I start playing one of my games, right? I'm just enjoying myself as much as you can, I guess. I'm playing my favorite phone game, I'm playing Homescapes and I'm working on my house and making all kinds of great progress. And all of a sudden the lights turn off and I'm in a stall. And so I, my first thought is crap, which is what I'm currently doing. But I was like, this isn't good because now, I mean, have you ever tried to wipe your butt in the dark? It's very difficult. It's a lot easier when you can actually see what you're doing. So, me being the brilliant person I am, I decide to try and throw toilet, some toilet, balled up toilet paper over the top of the stall to turn the lights back on, because it's pitch black, and I can't see anything. And so, I do this a few times, and the lights still don't come on. And of course, I've got my phone, but I don't want to set, there's nowhere to set it, and I don't want to put it on the floor, because who knows what's been on the floor, some kind of disease, it's going to get me, and I'm going to die a horrible death, because I set my phone on the bathroom floor. So I'm not setting my phone on the bathroom floor. And so I was like, great, what am I gonna do? I could try and hold it like on my chin or something, but that's not gonna work while my hands are like, you know, doing what they gotta do. And so I was like, great, well, what am I gonna do then? And so I'm like, well, I could sit and wait, but I was like, no, I got class in like 10 minutes and I can't be late to class, but I'm kind of stuck in a pitch black bathroom in the stall and I can't just like stand up and walk out because we all know that's not a good idea. You got to clean things up first. And so I'm like, great, well, I can, I can try and clean things up, but I don't know where the freak the toilet paper is because I didn't look where it was before I walked in the stall and now the lights are off and I can try and feel for it, but who knows what's on the walls? Like it's a public bathroom. You don't want to touch as, you want to touch as little as possible. And so I'm like, great, well, and I try and do everything I can think of. And so I end up, sad as it is to admit, <laughs> since there was nobody else coming in the bathroom and I needed to get to class, but I couldn't see, I, uh, I stood up and I <laughs> waddled over to the door and flung the door open. Of course, once I was out there, I was like, the lights are going to come on. So I get outside the stall with, of course, my pants still on the floor because I'm not pulling those up because I don't want to get anything on those and the lights still don't come on. And I'm like, great, well now I'm standing with my pants on the floor in the public bathroom with the lights off. This, this is great. This is just how I was envisioning my day going. I absolutely love this. What well, could go better? It could be better. And so I start trying to do a dance as much as you can with your feet being roped together by a pair of pants at your ankles. I still couldn't get the lights on, and so I'm like, great, now what am I gonna do? And then, of course, while I'm like halfway, I don't even remember how far I was from the stall, but it was not very, it was not very close to me. Somebody came in the bathroom and the lights came on and I'm standing there and I'm just like, crap. I don't know if they saw me, but I booked it back 
into the stall as quick as I could, and I'm pretty sure I scared the crap out of them because it sounded like they dropped something, but I I was not taking any chances, so I went flying back in the stall, and I threw the door shut, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank goodness. Like, I love you because you turned the lights on, but also you picked the worst possible time to walk in here. But luckily, I mean, he came in, and so I was able to, you know, get everything cleaned up and make it to my next class. I was only five minutes late, which was super great. I was super happy that I was only five minutes late. But that was a fun experience. That's just how I envisioned my day going, being stuck in a bathroom with the lights off. So anyway, there's a fun story for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up if you would like to hear more stories, because I do have more awkward stories uh leave a comment below let me know and uh that's pretty much it so subscribe if you haven't already guys and as always thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure well not that one but you know what i mean and uh i'll see you on the next one bye guys